was stolen off the boat last night. I got my bike back. Here comes our boat. It's out of the water for the first time. You can see her beautiful lines. There she goes. <laughs> what are you doing to my bike? Now I got a bike and I think it's a 20 kilometer bike to go and catch up with them. All right, we got our boat back in the river, the Nam Un River, I think it's called. And our buddy is not the best truck driver and he got his truck stuck. It's pretty obvious that he was driving right into the river. It's too bad. And we're gonna have to leave him to deal with the mess because we gotta head down the river. Let's do it. 20K to this river to avoid the brand new Zayaburi Dam, which is uh, I think the, maybe the second dam that is being built in Laos on the Mekong River. Pretty controversial, obviously. This river is quite a bit smaller. It probably looks like what the Mekong looks like when it's way up in China somewhere. There's some little rapids actually. I had to, I had to bail the boat for the first time in a while. Just doing the final loading up of the boat here in Sayaburi. I was actually planning, I got here before Felix and I was actually planning on untying his knot and, and telling him that he needs to learn to tie better knots. Funny enough, his knot was already untied. Whether some kids in the night or some punk untied it, hoping to let our boat go downstream or not, we may never know. We may never know just how bad a knot Felix ties. This is the man with the bad knot. Catch him. <laughs> but he's looking, he's looking sharp. He at, he's looking sharp in that. He's looking sharp in that white shirt now. We tied this little security knot here with a rock and a shitty stick, and it seemed to hold, thankfully. Hmm. And uh, Felix just paddled this into a bush. <laughs> not, not that I can blame it on him because I am supposed to be the person steering the boat right now. We were pretty impressed of how fast we got onto the Nam Hung from the Mekong. <laughs> and perhaps we were so impressed <laughs> that we forgot to pay our respects to the Nam Hung River God. Yeah, that's... We were paying respects to Naga. Knowledge. Naga is the Mekong River God. Yeah, Naga is the Mekong River God. Took a beating. Painted. We just took a serious beating. Uh, you can see the shape of our boat right now. We're coming down these pretty mellow rapids, but they threw us into that rock. Threw us into it, and then the pressure just crushed the boat and just literally it just sunk beneath us. Just like straight up sunk. Except deeper than that, it actually went deep to the point that we lost the boat from under us. But our stuff, at least some of it, was tied to it. This is what's left of our stuff. My bike was tied to the boat, but for some reason, my bike's gone and my bike bag that had my shoes in it are gone. Felix, what'd you lose? Uh, several 
Clothes. You lost some clothes? Clothes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think maybe a national jersey of Cambodia would be, which would be pretty sad. Ah. Any bruises? New bruises? Oh. Apart from your dive? Oh. <laughs> I got some cuts on my feet. Just some minor cuts. I think that's actually from the bicycle. Our boat, power, I think our boat will still float. I don't know how far down we want to take it. We only have one paddle now. <laughs> we don't have a baler. We have about one liter of water. Some soggy banana chips. I think that's all the food. Is that all the food? Yes. But the road is actually right on the other side of the river. Easy. So we're not too remote, although it looks like we're very remote. You can actually even see power lines over there. Just no homes. <laughs> uh, in the end, it wasn't the Mekong that got us. Yeah. It was the Nam Hung. We got hung up on the Nam Hung. <laughs> All right, let's try to bail this boat and see where we can get to. I'm, I'm sort of stoked, though, considering I didn't really lose anything too important. Even though my bike, I'm always, I'm always okay with my bike, you know, whatever. I think all my other stuff is okay. We'll see. So? Soaked. <laughs> Soaked. <laughs> Looked at, the rapids weren't that crazy, but there was a lot of water pushing right into a bend and on the bend there was cliff. I knew we might get pushed up against it, but I didn't think we were gonna get pushed up against it that strong. And so as we came down those small little class one rapids, tempted to paddle as hard as we could away from the cliff, but it came a bit fast. And so I yelled to Felix to push off the cliff, which was, you know, the fact that there was so much water flowing against us is sort of a useless endeavor and we basically just went right up against the cliff and then there was like a second and then like the force of the water really hit us and that's when the boat broke but i don't remember the boat tipping i just remember it going under yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden we were sitting on the boat but the boat was like a few feet underwater and getting deeper and then it was completely gone <laughs> with our stuff everything and we're floating and we're like, uh-oh, okay. Yeah. What, what went through your head when that happened? I was mostly caring about my health, <laughs> for sure. Did you think, did you think like you'd get sucked under? Yeah, maybe to get sucked under, I don't know. I've never been in such a situation, so I don't know. And there was another rock, like which we were floating towards, more or less, like not far. Yeah, there's some a big rocks. We hit the main cliff wall and then there was a bigger sort of boulder sitting in front of us. And we could have gone like right under. It's yeah. a possibility. Sabadi! Sabadi! <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think what I was thinking. I sort of laughed, I think. Was my, I was like, oh, okay, now the boat's under and the boat is gone. And it was just sort of funny how fast it happened. <laughs> I just sort of laughed. I mean, it's probably a nervous laughter because I tend to laugh when I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, I think my thought, like, it just went straight to my stuff. And it was like, is it sunk? Is it gone all completely? And then I was like, if we lose all that, I'm going to be somewhat in a pickle as to how I continue moving. I didn't once have any concern for your life, so. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I, I figured you'd float. Yeah. I mean, I we were, at yeah. that point, we were floating much better than anything else around us. Everything was yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, sure. It was only like when we were close to the cliff, we had a little bit concerns. It was only for a few seconds. Yeah, and then we floated down a bit yeah, and we're like, okay, where's the boat? Yeah. The boat, please resurface boat. Yeah, and then we more or less pushed the boat to a small island. Well, first, like some bags floated up, and I was like, okay, are these attached to the boat still? Because I had t I just tied my bags to the boat. And then the bags popped up, and yeah, and then we swam with the boat to the shore, which was not an easy thing because the boat is still like sitting under the water, pretty much almost completely under the water. Yeah, luckily, the other was a boat coming. <laughs> a boat came and gave us a bailer, basically. That was it. Yeah. 
which is nice. That's sped up the process of bailing. And then slowly your bag, your black bag showed up like uh, yeah. 10 minutes later, 10 15 minutes, later. minutes later. The paddle came. Paddle by. came down a while <laughs> later too. That was like five minutes later. Yeah, that was funny. And then we got down just a little bit further downstream and we came to this medicinal plant place, Refuge, which is filled with, funny enough, a bunch of people who are working on a dam. And as we got here, we got, unloaded our stuff and as I came to dry our stuff off right here, I looked down into the river and I saw my other bag floating by. <laughs> Perfect. We're alive. We're alive. Happy to be alive. We have an accommodation. We have food. We have our stuff all over the place. And we have friends over here eating sticky rice. Got a room. It's just an empty room. And we have mosquitoes. And we have a lot of mosquitoes. Crazy. I'd say it's a success. It got pretty chilly in here actually. It was hot when we went to bed and then it got quite cold in the night. Felix is all packed up. He uh, waterproofed his stuff a bit better maybe? Actually not. It's just the same. Oh well. There's the Nam Hung, the site of the great tragedy where shortly after a dead bird was floating downstream. And I thought it was our plastic bag, but it was just a dead bird. We got ourselves a new paddle. Felix walked up the street, found a new paddle. This beauty right here. Look at that. Felix is gonna have a pleasure of paddling that thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm already used to my phone, I'm Oh no, I got used to it yesterday, sorry. <laughs> 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 Thank you.